Hello and welcome back to the PHP 101 course. In this video I'm going to talk to you about um, sorting arrays. Uh, there's a few useful functions that you can use to sort the uh, elements inside of an array and so I just wanted to show you a few of those because a few of those may come up uh, in your developing career so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and make sure your servers running and then jump over into the scripts directory and let's put a new file here and let's just call it array sort.php and we'll open some PHP tags and skip down a few lines and we'll close them and we're going to be using our var dump quite often so let's just do a little review and create a, a, a function to print these out to the screen. So I'm going to create a function and we'll call it, um, we'll just call it dump and we'll put array, we'll pass in array and then what we're going to do is we're just going to echo a pre-tag and then we are going to var dump array and then we'll echo a closing pre-tag alright and that will be that function so let's get started let's just say I had an array of numbers and these could be ages or something like that and I have no clue how these are going to get generated um, and so I may just want to order these in order so let's say I had a number say one two th 123 7, 55, 82, uh, 90, oops, 999, 1. Okay, so if I wanted these to be printed in alphabetical order, I can see that if I dump ages and we'll go to the, to the site here and we'll just navigate to scripts and forward slash array sort dot php and we can see that we have 123, 7, 55, 82, 999, and 1. Okay, so that's the order of the array. Um, but if I want to sort those in alphabetical order, uh, there's a built-in function called sort. So I can just sort ages and then I can dump ages and now when I refresh, these are in order 1, 7, 55, 82, 123, 999. You can also do this with um, uh, words. So I'll just put months. And let's just say we have uh, January, February. March, April. I'm just using these words and then what I want to do is I want to sort those so sort months and then we'll dump months and this will instead of sorting them actually by month order this will put them in alphabetical order from A to Z. So you see we have April, February, January, and March. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and see what the reverse of sort is. And that's very simple. It's just going to be R sort. So R sort, and then if we put months there, and then we dump those months, um, that next dump will have them in reverse order. And that works the same with uh, numerical values too. So now we have March, um, March, January, February, April. Yep. Okay. So that's correct. Um, so that's R sort. So sort and R sort work with indexed arrays. Okay. So I'm just going to put a comment here and say sort and R sort work with indexed arrays. 
okay? Um, but we may be working with associative arrays, and so if you want to uh, sort by the uh, value of an associative array, then we have a sort and a R sort. You can remember associative array because it's just the same functions with an A at the beginning. Okay, so then what we can do is let's say we have a person and let's just give this um, first uh, first name whoops Curtis and then we'll do age 38 um, last car ham and then uh, car HHR okay so now if I use the function um, we'll do a sort and we'll sort a sort person and then let's dump person now if I refresh we have um, the elements in the array have been sorted so it's Curtis HHR Parham and then an interesting thing happens is it puts the number at the end 38 so you can see but the values are in order uh, numerically uh, we could also do the reverse of that which is AR sort and AR sort will do the same exact thing as A sort but it's going to be reversed obviously so now we would expect uh, the opposite order and you can see that the keys are maintained in these sortings so um, last our age is still 38 last is still parm so it doesn't mess up the array it's just sorting these to what uh, to the order you want either ascending uh, or descending okay if we want to sort these arrays by the key then um, so we'll put sorts associative arrays by value and then the last grouping is we have um, we have the K sort okay and we have uh, KR sort and these sorts associative arrays by key okay I'm not sure why that happened but by key alright so let's try that now let's try person um, actually you know what we'll just we'll leave this like this and let's say case sort person and then let's dump the person array and now you can see um, let's see car age first last um, so the reason it's put car first here is because car is capital um, so if I go here and lowercase this uh, car to a C there it will actually put these in order so age so it, it does kind of this natural sorting thing where it tries to put the capitalized stuff first but you can see that now it, it doesn't matter what the values are it's sorting this array by the key of the array rather than the value of the array. And then you'll just come up, uh, there'll be different uh, times when you'll use each of these. You may not use them often, uh, just know they're there. I'm, you know, I'm not spending a ton of time on this. I just wanted to make you guys aware that you, once you have arrays, you can uh, sort them. Uh, so let's see, call the undefined function dumped, so I had an extra T there try that again so now it's last first car age so it doesn't matter what order the value is but it's just ordering these by the key and you can see that the key value relationship is maintained in these indexed arrays when you sort them the original key value uh, relationship is lost and it just keeps the index at 0 1 2 3 and so on Okay, but in an associative array, it's most important that we keep the key and the value. Uh, we want generally 
most of the time you want those to be uh, kept in relationship to one another. And so you may just sort them either by the key, uh, as in the K sort and KR sort, or by the value, just being A sort and AR sort. So there's just a few ways that you can sort the array. There are some um, user-defined ways that you can pass your own function so that you can create your own algorithm to sort these. And there are a few other uh, built-in functions to sort arrays as well. But these are some of the most common, so I just wanted to show you these and just make you aware that it is possible to um, alphabetize or, or uh, sort your arrays uh, alphanumerically. All right, so let's go ahead and go to php.net. And then I'm just going to search for sorting arrays. Array sort. And let's see. So this is AR sort. I'm going to take you to this comparison page, which gives you a list of all the sorting. Uh, built-in methods here are functions that PHP provides and you can see some of the uh, um, user contributed stuff and then also you can click on these and go to uh, just the methods or the, the individual uh, documentation for each one so get used to looking at PHP documentation it may be a little confusing at first but you're gonna find yourself using this quite often um, so let's go now and just add this to our menu inside of our website. So let's go back here to just the home page of our website. And we're just going to add array sort down here. So in order to do that, let's create, go to pages and duplicate our template. And we're just going to call it array sort.php. Header. We're just going to put sort arrays. Um, and then uh, functions to sort arrays and then um, go back to php.net and we'll copy this link here and we'll plug that into the href for our PHP manual and uh, then we just want to go ahead and do array sort Um, go ahead and put some notes here in the note thing to help you out and embed this video in the embed code so that you can reference it later. Um, the last thing that we need to do is add it to our menu. So open up menu.php and we'll copy the last list item in this uh, list. And we'll simply change everywhere it says functions to array sort.php. And um, sort array sorting okay so that will add this here to the menu and then you can reference uh, the code that we just did um, and play around with this yourself you, should, you guys should always add to the end of these just play with these different methods I showed you very basic uh, examples and where to get started and you may find useful ways to use this in your in your uh, programming or in your own uh, websites or whatever you're building with PHP. Um, so I hope that helps. And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys a few functions to manipulate strings. So the, so the plan for the rest of this series is to do one video on string manipulation. And then we're going to start talking about something called object-oriented programming. And I'm going to show you guys the very basics, bare bones, 101 uh, object oriented programming and then that will be it so we probably have um, I'm not for certain but probably I'm guessing anywhere from three to six more videos in this series and then I think you guys will be ready since you'll have the basics down of PHP to just go and start doing a beginner course um, and start learning uh, how to implement these things so it's good to learn this this series is basically to teach you the syntax and what's possible um, so, and to familiarize you a little bit with some of the um, jargon that gets thrown around when you're talking about programming 
and uh, but don't expect that you're going to know everything and I don't think you need to to start programming stuff so just familiarize yourself a few times through this course and then um, go and take a beginner's course in PHP web development um, I have one on my channel where you build an e-commerce site um, and you can just go from the basics of HTML, CSS, and, P and PHP and I show you from the very beginning how to build a working online shop that can uh, accept credit cards. So at any rate, I hope this helps guys and uh, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.